pot? Why, yes it is. I'm gonna interrupt us for two reasons. One, there's a beautiful golden retriever puppy tearing away at a box. In a box. Oh, and oh, and what's this? Oh, no way, thank you, Yoko. Oh, it's a good girl. Would you look at that, that's our sponsor. Battle Breakers. Thank you, Yoga, for the introduction. Battle Breakers is a cartoon-inspired hero collector role-player game available for free on iOS, PC, and Android. I'd be thrilled if you would go and download Battle Breakers using my link in the description. It came out of a passion project from some of the developers over at Epic Games, and the concept is space monsters have invaded, and they have trapped some of the world's greatest heroes in a techno-magnetic crystal. It is now up to you to free them and take back your planet. You'll have to assemble the right team, but fortunately there are hundreds of heroes for you to choose from to build that arsenal of warriors needed for victory. You'll enjoy it too because monsters have infested every corner of the game and there are thousands of dungeons and glaciers, volcanoes, forests and more for you to explore. But of course you can also have some fun in some uh, good old fashioned brawls by unleashing massive attacks and smashing through legions of monsters. Using my supporter creator code available down below is going to help support us even more and of course I'd be thrilled if you would go and download Battle Breakers using my link in the description too. Thank you Battle Breakers for sponsoring the video. Thank you guys for hopping along. We're gonna jump back in and see Will cook some mean chili. You're cooking? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking? Because today is the first episode of Willy versus the chili. <laughs> It's Willy versus the chili. So the idea for this episode is that I started off, as you guys saw, by making a pot of chili. I don't know how to make chili. This is my first time making chili. Apparently it takes a long time to cook. I have eight hours and 48 minutes left on the clock. In that time, before it is finished, I want to finish a coffin-handled Bowie knife. So it's kind of a complicated knife to make. Not super, super complicated. I think I'll probably be able to pull off a nice, uh, a nice knife in that time. It's gonna be a pretty big blade, a pretty historical looking design, so let's fire up the forge and do it! While the forge heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my design ready to go. I want to do a pretty big knife for this. It's going to be a big old mean looking Arkansas toothpick style. We'll call it a Montana toothpick because we're in Montana and Montana is the best of all of the states. So we're going to be making a big Montana toothpick coffin handled buoy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Got it all forged out. It's looking super, super nice. The profile's looking sleek and stabby and choppy and all that good stuff. Got the Ricasso nice and crispy. We've got the bevels forged out lightly. We've got the tang tapering in both directions. I just did a couple thermal cycles on it so it's ready to go straight into the quench when we're ready for that. Once it cools down, I'm gonna take it into the grinding room, get it profiled, get those bevels ground, and be ready for, uh, you know, the old hardening.
So what is going on, Will? I would like to know, how is the chili coming? The chili is coming along absolutely splendidly, probably. I don't know, again, not an experienced chili chef. Oh, wow. Looks good, though. It smells really good. And there are six whole hours still on the clock. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, there are six hours left on the crock. The knife is hot. I'm going to quench it. Ooh, that's a hot blade. That thing looks beautiful. Thank you. So, now that I've got this quenched, the longest single process here is the tempering, and that takes four hours. That's a lot of time when you've only got six hours left on the crock. So in the meantime, I'm going to get started on the guard and handle while this is in the tempering oven. Oh, look at that Martin side. It's so clean. Thanks, Paragon for making an amazing oven. And being a great sponsor of the show. So, so fresh, so fine, so clean. I'm impressed. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm gonna throw this in the other oven, and then I'm gonna get started on the guard and handle while the chili continues to cook. I like to use wrought iron for the guard on this thing. Um, and the only source of wrought iron that we have is this wagon tire back here. <laughs> okay, so I need to cut off a pretty good sized little chunk of this stuff. Got it. So this wrought iron is a little bit thick. I just gotta thin it down to a usable size. Five hours, 33 minutes left. I just had lunch. Now time to surface grind this down with the belt sanding surface grinder attachment. So the plan is now that I've got one of those sides flattened off, to go ahead and take it into the mill here and mill the other side completely parallel with it and then I'll be able to cut my slot that the blade will sit in. Okay, so we got that guard slot carved out. Time to move on to the handle work. I selected this piece of, it's a South African hardwood. It looks really, really nice. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. My friend Niels Vandenberg gave it to us, um, and it is plenty big for this handle. It's got some super nice figure to it. Not gonna be too much though. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start drawing on this block and then drilling out some holes. And, uh, and then by the time that that knife is ready to come out of the tempering, uh, we'll be ready to do the final fit up on this handle, do the final shaping, all that good stuff. We're ready to pull the knife out of the first temper cycle. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the fitting right now on it while it's in this state. Just because that way once I get things fit, I can start doing the uh, the finishing of the material so I'll have a lot less to do on the guard and handle after it's done tempering. It means I can get a little bit more of a head start on things. So I'm gonna let that cool down. I think, I think this is gonna be a cool knife. I think I'm gonna have it done, but we'll see. Because I have a lot of work to do on the blade after it's finished tempering. I'm gonna see how well this fits up right off of the mill. Okay, perfect. <laughs> We've got like three eighths of an inch to go before it's hitting on the shoulders. Do a little bit of filing on it, see if we can make it fit up. Look at that, the perfect handle shape. Extremely ergonomic. Okay, I've got about three and a half hours left. I'm gonna get this handle zipped off and rough profiled. I'm gonna get the guard super rough profiled, and then this blade's gonna go back in the oven, and I can start working that handle down a little bit better. I've got the fit good enough now that I'm comfortable throwing this back in the tempering oven for another, uh, we'll just say another hour. It's a little bit shorter than I'd like to, but I've only got two and a half hours left 
on the croc. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get that handle finished up. One hour and one minute left to finish this thing up. We've got a whole nine minutes left on the clock. The chili is done as well. I'm not sure who won me or the chili. It was within a couple seconds. That was seriously about as close as it could possibly get. I have a finished knife here. Hardened, tempered, pinned, glued, sharpened. Oh, let's see if it's actually sharp though. Oh, you know what? I'd say that's pretty sharp. time to enjoy my first ever batch of chili. I'm looking forward to it. It's got beans, onions, beef, peppers, garlic, spices, and throw some sour cream and cheese on top and enjoy myself a nice bowl of chili. I'm sure I will see in the comments all of the ways that I made chili wrong. And you know what? I'm a beginner chili chiliest. All right, here we go. Mmm. I won't subject you to a five minute long segment of me eating chili at the end of this video. If you want to say thanks for watching, I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.